welcome back. So I think I've officially made the decision that I'm going to be sharing my journey with the world. Um, and I wanted to start off because my liquid pre-op diet that is going to be two weeks long will be starting on the 19th of March. So Friday and today is Monday. Yee, I'm so excited. So I just wanted to kind of share with you guys what I got, what is included on my pre-op diet. It is a essentially a liquid diet and I apologize if you guys hear some background noise. I do have a little one who's running around. So just in case. Any who's who what's it? So again, everybody's pre-op diet is a little bit different. So mine might be different than yours. So don't go 100% off of what I am doing. I am not a doctor. I am just following what my surgeon is telling me to do so that I have a successful surgery. Now, um, if you're wondering why the heck do you have to do a pre-op? What is a pre-op diet? A pre-op diet is so that you can start preparing your liver because when you are obese, you do suffer from a fatty liver. So I'm going to be reducing that down because I will be having a laparoscopic surgery, which means that they're going to have to go in and in order to access my stomach, um, they have to move my liver around. So I have to make sure that they have access to that pretty nicely. So without further ado, we're going to start with the cold stuff first because I want to get this stuff back in the fridge. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is low fat cottage cheese. I know this looks a little different than um, most of the hauls that you see out there, but I kind of wanted to set it up and talk about it this way. So the first one is low fat cottage cheese on my pre-op diet. I am allowed to have this and I think this is going to be wonderful because a lot of the stuff that's on my pre-op is very much geared towards like the sugar-free sweets. Um, and to be honest with you, like I like my desserts at night. Let's be honest, most people do. However, I'm not the biggest sweets person. So I know that I'm going to want something a little bit more savory. And I do like cottage cheese. So I'm excited to be able to have that as an option for when I'm not having the sweet stuff. That brings me to the next thing. And our next thing is Chobani Greek yogurt, not that plain. So this is just straight up plain Greek yogurt. I did have the option though to um, do non-fat plain yogurt, but Greek yogurt has more protein in it and it's very pertinent that I get enough protein. And so I decided to go with Greek yogurt and I wanted to start getting accustomed to Greek yogurt plain. The reason being is because um, currently I use Greek yogurt as like a mix for pizza dough, which someday I'll show you guys that hopefully. Um, but it is a Weight Watchers recipe that you guys can, I'm sure, find out and check out somewhere. It's awesome pizza dough and it's like one point. So check that out if you can. Um, but I use that for that. And then I also use it in replacement for sour cream. So the thought of eating it like yogurt is already kind of freaking me out a little bit. But we're going to roll with it. And um, I actually bought some stuff that I'll show you guys here in a little bit that I can also have on my pre-op diet to kind of ease that taste and help me kind of wean myself into that. So the next cold thing and the last cold thing is sugar-free popsicles. So um, everybody talks about their sugar-free popsicles, how they're like the saving grace or whatever. I'm not a big popsicle person um, in general, but we're going to try it because that is what I need to do to be able to get my surgery. Um, so I probably won't use these very often. If anything, my daughter will probably eat them <laughs> because I have a lot of other options available to me. Um, but you know, after the surgery, I've heard that these are really awesome to kind of soothe your stomach, so on and so forth. So I did buy the big 18 pack of these. The only flavor that they had was the tropical flavor. So I mean, it is what it is. Um, and also a little word wise, I was reading labels. It's very important to start reading labels, especially if you're planning on going on this journey and making it a lifelong habit. Um, so with that being said, I started reading labels. And there is a particular sugar-free popsicle that a lot of people on the group that I am part of um, talk about and they refer to and they're like, oh, they're so good, so on and so forth. There are certain sugars that, um, or even sugar equivalents, I guess, kind of like sugar versus Splenda, um, that they tell you to look out for. 
so I was really searching and looking and ensuring that everything I was looking for didn't have that stuff um, and that if it was sugar-free, even though it said sugar-free, I still looked to see how many sugars were on the label, what kind of sugar it was, so on and so forth. So a serving size of this is three popsicles, which is asinine. I would only eat one. Um, I mean, I say that now, who knows what it's going to look like down the road, but probably not more than one. Um, and it's 45 calories per serving. Um, now total fat, zero sodium, zero total carbs, 11, which is pretty high based on everything that I'm reading for my post-op stuff, um, from my surgeon. So this probably wouldn't be the best option for me, but it will be something that can help get me by a little bit after I have my surgery for those one and two week, um, time periods where I'm going to be solely on liquids. So there's zero grams of protein. <laughs> there's 15% of vitamin C. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. The 11 grams of carbs is for if you have this serving size, which is three popsicles. So if it's just a singular popsicle, it's four grams, which I feel a lot better about. And that's probably what I read in the grocery store and was like, oh yeah. Um, so one thing that I definitely noticed is that within a lot of the sugar-free popsicles, they would have how much, how many grams of sugar or milligrams of sugar that would be in those popsicles. And they were like the Walmart brands of great value or the signature Safeway brand. And I was like, if they're sugar free, why do they have a sugar count? Now I know that sometimes there's a sugar count based off of, um, oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. Sorry. Um, based off of the natural sugars, because from everything that I've read in my research that I've done, they're no longer taking um, natural sugars and putting them as natural sugars on labels. They're just putting them in there as all together with sugars that are also added sugars. Um, so not sure what that's about, but I'm glad that I did my research and I was looking at labels. That is something that I've definitely learned. There we go. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some of the more shelf safe stuff that I purchased. Um, and this is the stuff that I purchased more of, um, because this is probably the stuff that I'm going to be able to eat more of in the aspect of like, if I'm really feeling hungry, I can have unlimited amounts. So unlimited amount water, that's a given unlimited amount broth. So let's see what I got. First things first, let's talk about something that, um, a really close person in my life had the VSG surgery a couple of years ago has been so successful and I'm so happy for them but when I was talking to them they're like do yourself a favor and get the smooth move tea um because we're lacking a lot of fiber after the surgery and I've also heard just in my research as well like on the pre-op your fiber is lacking so like you're gonna need to move some stuff along I've seen people overuse this and misuse this I'm so nervous to use it because I've never been irregular, if you will. Um, so I'm really nervous, but it relieves occasional constipation as well, which I've never had an issue with. So, um, but one of the gals that I love to watch, um, the chic savvy bell on YouTube, she did two of these because she was like, I am backed up. I got to go. Okay. And she was regretting it so bad and so I will be following all the instructions it says relieves occasional constipation generally within six to twelve hours pour eight ounces freshly boiled water over one tea bag steep for 10 to 15 minutes I will not let it seep for 10 minutes more than 10 minutes because oh, I'm just nervous about this stuff but it's better than having to take like any type of supplement for it, in my opinion, I'd rather go this way, especially after the surgery when I know that I'm probably going to have a struggle of swallowing pills, maybe. That's what I've heard. Of course, I'm going to try it myself before I make an opinion. I'm not going to let other people's opinions influence my decisions. However, it is good to know for the future reference. So next thing, the next drinkable thing. So as most people are, I'm a addicted to coffee a lot of people have said try to wean yourself off so when I knew that I wanted to start my journey towards researching VSG 
determining whether I wanted to really get it done or not, I knew that a couple things needed to change in my life. One of those is going to Starbucks every morning. I would go to Starbucks every morning and during the holidays, which just ended and so I, I know exactly what my drink order was, um, I was getting a triple venti white chocolate peppermint mocha with no less pumps, just straight up. Um, didn't take the whip off or anything. And then I would also get um, either a bagel or a breakfast sandwich, something along those lines awful for you. I was having thousands of calories in that small period of time. So I cut Starbucks out completely. I, anybody that knows me knows that I love Starbucks cups and I collect the tumblers like crazy. Um, I also like get these, um, the reusable ones and utilize these. So I drink out of these all day. And it also kind of gives me that like feeling of I'm having a Starbucks drink. So that brings me to this. I um, usually drink the donut shop coffee. So I got the decaf because while I am on my pre-op and my post-op for quite a while, I can only have decaf tea and coffee. So I went ahead and I grabbed some decaf versions of the coffee that I like. Um, also, in addition to me slowing down the amount of caffeine that I was intaking to kind of wean myself off of it beforehand, um, instead of having like two or three coffees a day of my little coffee drink that I'll tell you guys about here shortly, um, I will now, now for the last two weeks, I've only been having one cup of coffee. So, and I, I didn't have any headaches or anything. Um, and while we're on the subject of things that I quit doing, knowing that this was coming up, um, I also quit smoking a month ago. And so that's exciting. And I quit cold turkey. I know I'm a weirdo. Most people can't do that. I am very fortunate to be able to say that I do have the ability to do so. Um, and it doesn't bother me. Um, I didn't have any headaches, nothing that's just how I am. So switching to decaf, I don't think will be an issue. It very well might be though. We'll see. Um, reducing my calorie or my um, caffeine intake before has never been an issue. So we shall see. As long as I have like the idea in my brain, like it's a misconception of like, you are drinking coffee. I'm pretending I'm drinking coffee. I feel like I'll be all right. <laughs> So let's talk about that coffee that I do make. I love the Premier Proteins. These are something that I've been drinking for years um, in many, many different diets that I have tried, started, so on and so forth. These are just something that I've always grabbed and I make a protein coffee. I'm sure you guys have all heard of this, but what I like to do is I like to fill up whatever tumbler I'm using. It's usually the 20 ounce just because I know the ratio is like a crazy in my brain. I fill up ice to here. Okay, and then I will do um, eight ounces of my coffee in my Keurig, which when I fill this up with the coffee poured over ice on here, it stays here. And then I pour my Premier Protein in there. Um, I love it. If you do the caramel, which is the one I'm showing you guys right now, this um, will make it taste like a caramel macchiato, which is like everybody's favorite. <laughs> Um, when I worked at Starbucks forever, that was like my jam. Um, then later on in life, I started to change my taste a little bit, but this is just enough sweet. I have seen people put stevia in these Splenda to make it taste sweeter. And oh my gosh, I could not, I already am like, these are almost too sweet for me. I cannot drink one of these just straight up. The vanilla ones are different. However, I can drink the vanilla ones straight up. Um, and so I also have a bunch of the vanilla ones. I went to Costco, um, looking at pricing versus Costco and Amazon. I think I'm going to be able to actually get my premier proteins from Amazon as a subscribe and save cheaper than Costco, but I will keep you guys updated. Um, the next item that I got, everybody rants and raves about this fair life protein. So I got these, um, <laughs> everybody rants and raves I've literally never seen them before um people start talking about them and then we were at a friend's house and I said hey I, uh, I'm gonna be having surgery and I need something high in protein and um we're going to Costco later to go get my protein for my pre-op diet and this was my first time like I haven't shared it with a lot of people and so like I've now shared it with like our most important friends kind of a deal um and <laughs> They were like, you gotta try the Fair Life Protein. And so they instantly brought me one before we went to Costco yesterday. And 
Um, I tried it and it, okay, compared to the Premier Proteins, this one tastes legitimately like chocolate milk. Um, it's wonderful. So I will be putting these ones in the fridge. They are shelf safe, um, but I'll be putting them in the fridge because I made like my own little section. If you guys would like to see exactly what it is that I'm doing for organization of my BSG stuff in that's away from what my family will be eating every day. I will show you guys. I'm a big organizer. So if you're interested in that, just let me know and I will definitely make a video or an Instagram post. And um, I'm going to talk about all the social media stuff here in just a moment um, at the end of this video. All right. So I've told you guys about my protein coffee that I like to do. Um, obviously, I will not be doing the Fairlife chocolate in my coffee. I am not a mocha person. I think it's disgusting. Um, so those will just be on their own because I have to drink three of those a day. So I'm going to do the decaf coffee with my vanilla or caramel. And then I will just have a chocolate milk is what I'm going to call it. Yep, a chocolate milk. In between those times, um, in addition to my water. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Uh, and now, I kind of talked about how it's overly sweet for me a lot of the times when I put the pro Premier Protein in there. Um, and knowing that I was going into this and that having... Um, vitamins and supplements were now going to be part of my life. I decided that I would take the plunge and I was going to buy um, this item right here, which is the collagen peptides. Um, I got this because I've always wanted to try this, to be honest with you. I just never could justify the price. My life is changing. My body is going to be changing. I need to make changes for the better. And there is nothing that is hurting me from this. Now, I will say it's so expensive, okay? However, when I was shopping the other day, I had already purchased this one because I just have always wanted to try it. The Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I thought it was so fancy and I wanted to be one of those fancy healthy people. Um, I found one, the Orgain or Organic one at Walmart, which is literally like $12 cheaper. Exact same specs. So I will be going to purchase that one next. It says it's unflavored. I hope that it truly matches the flavor because this one has like a very minimal aftertaste to it. So when I put this one, I put two scoops in to my drink. If I'm doing a caramel one, if I'm doing a vanilla one, I'll probably do one and then I'll do one in like the chocolate because in the vanilla it overpowers the taste the um, aftertaste of it so um it does come with its own scooper i have been using it now for about a week and a half um so it comes with its own scooper looks a little something like that um this little guy i know i'm calling this one the little guy it's as big as my head okay um but it only has 16 servings in here you're supposed to take two scoops a day Feel like $28 for this is a little pricey but I really do like it um so it's really nice it does have 20 grams of collagen peptides in it I bought some isopure zero carb protein um this is the unflavored one um this was $19.95 at Walmart Amazon and Walgreens I believe um I again just trying to find the best deals this is one pound of it they make the ones that are like 10 pounds and five pounds. Um, but I got this one to just try it again, only has about 16 servings in it, which I'm like, what? That seems so crazy. I just, it's adjustment. It's an adjustment and I will get used to it. Um, so I went ahead and I grabbed this guy. This is going to be great to add protein to things without having any flavor. So I can have the flavor of what I'm trying to eat or drink while adding extra protein to it. Um, so this one, you have to be very careful from everything that I've read about the kind of um, protein that you're receiving. Um, really look at the ingredients because our body can process the protein isolate more than the protein concentrate. And so I need my body to be able to process it. Um, let's talk about additives, other non-perishable perishable items that I got. All right. So the next thing is the vegetable broth. I also got beef and chicken. I have like a weird idea of what beef, beef is going to taste like. For some reason, I'm just tripping over having beef broth. I don't know why. Chicken and veggie, I'm like, cool, I'm down. But 
the vet or the beef for some reason is just making me feel a little weird but um I did get the great value this specific one of the vegetable because from everybody that I watched on YouTube seen on TikTok um or read about this is like the all-time favorite um not sure why I have not opened any of these yet so I haven't even tried it I bought so many because they were on sale knowing that I was gonna have to do it pre-op and post-op um but evidently this is the best one so I got that um as well as the chicken and the beef now um something that I was definitely trying to pay attention to while reading labels was how much sodium was in certain things because I just don't want to take in that much sodium I can't remember off the top of my head right now how much sodium your body's technically supposed to intake but I don't want to go crazy with it so I tried to get the no sodium or low sodium items um and then I also got um better than bouillon <sighs> I went to so many stores and um here let me show you guys actually I got the beef one too so I went to so many stores and I tried to order so many times the different better than bouillons that were sodium free or like low sodium <sighs> and when I tell you they advertise that they have them but I swear it's a lie they don't have them it's not real um but oh sorry this isn't the um beef one I didn't get the beef one I got the veggie um I just don't understand like why there's no low sodium but I've heard that people like to do the broth with a tiny tiny baby bit of bouillon in there just to add a little bit more flavor um so I got that as well as um I got some of the Weiler's chicken cubes. I don't foresee me really using these, but I grabbed them so that I could have the option when I am flying to get some hot water um, and put this in a cup so that I could drink this to and from my surgery. All right, so next thing is sugar-free, sugar-free jello and pudding. It's a texture thing, okay? I know that I'm going to have jello as an option. I already am not the fondest of jello, but I'm going to try it again and I'm trying new things. Um, this I'm not too worried about because I've eaten this like a thousand times on all the fad diets that I've done, so um I'm good with the pudding. However, the jello, I usually st steered away from that. And also every store that I went to only had two flavors. Or none at all so I was like okay and I know I could make my own but um it's just easier for me to grab these and go so I paid the money for them and I only got the two flavors strawberry and orange <laughs> next I got some sugar-free vanilla pudding and some sugar-free strawberry jello mix the reason that I got these um having said what I just said about I know I could make them but um, the reason I got these is actually because in the past I have utilized these to um, sweeten things up certain times. So I figured because this is okay on my diet and I've seen people put crystal light packets into Greek yogurt on their pre-op diet. Um, I'm going to put these in my Greek yogurt because they're sugar free. I already know that I like the flavor of the vanilla pudding. I can put that in and it would be vanilla Greek yogurt. And then... The strawberry one, I figured because it already tastes a little bit like sour cream, cheesy to me. Um, I could put this in and it'll taste like strawberry cheesecake. So we're going to try it. I'll bring you along. Of course, I'll do a little what I eat in the day kind of a deal for you guys. Um, but I figured why not try them? I'm trying new things. Let's see if I can figure something new out, right? <laughs> All right, moving on. The next thing is um, I can have no sugar added applesauce. So I bought a bunch of these little guys so that I could um, just have them as a lot of people say they miss the satisfaction of being able to chew something. So between the cottage cheese, the Greek yogurt and the applesauce, um, I think I'll be fine. Um, I mean, who knows? I've never done something like this before. So we're going to try it and I will let you guys know how it goes. But we're going to try now drinks so i already told you guys about my protein coffee let's talk a little bit about something else that i've purchased so boom um i did get some mio vitamins b3 b6 and b12 
the orange tangerine flavored zero calorie, um, zero everything drink additive. I am not a fan of like the berry additive drinks and stuff like that. All the stores again that I went to, I don't know why this keeps happening to me. I'm probably gonna have to look somewhere else. Um, didn't have a lot of options of flavors that I'd like. I do like the orange stuff. I just like the artificial berry taste for me is not my favorite. Um, so I just got what I know I like and I did purchase, um, one grape one. I didn't obviously bring everything out here that I had purchased, but I got a grape one that I am pretty sure I've tried in the past and I liked. Um, it's just that aftertaste of the artificial berry for me. It feels like it leaves a weird film on my tongue. I just am not a fan. I do like drinking water though. So adding these to water is no big deal for me. Um, and then, um, or not adding them is no big deal either. So it'll just be another way to do it. Now I was searching and searching and searching because I love the crystal light tea additive things, the little packets. Um, I love them deeply and all of them have caffeine and that's not something that I'm allowed to have. So I was just searching and I was like, oh my gosh, at Walmart, they had iced peach green tea with white, or no, yeah, iced peach with, iced tea with peach. Oh my gosh, why could I not say that? That says sugar-free, low calorie, made with real tea, and decaffeinated. I was like freaking out. They only had one of these two, so I like lost my dang marbles. But I grabbed one, um, and all the specs on it too were like, perfect and so um it does say decaffeinated black tea because I double 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 checked triple checked to make sure it was decaf I'm still gonna reach out and ask if this is something that I can have um all it said was decaf tea um so I'm assuming that I can have this I don't know if other people have tried it but I'm so excited because I do love this the tea ones I, I'm just so excited so there you go now we're coming to the end, my friends. Uh, the next thing that I got was zero sugar power aid. You can have power aid, Gatorade, sugar free juice, sugar free, sugar free, sugar free, sugar free. Um, not a big fan. Don't typically buy stuff like this. I did buy it, however, just to have a little bit of variety in my life while this is going on. So I got this in the blue and the purple. Flavor is this? Oh, great. Um, the blue and the purple because when I was younger. I used to like Powerade and I uh, always had the blue and the purple. So why not try it again? But sugar free. So, and my, um, the person in my life who had their surgery done, um, loves these and lives by these. So I grabbed some. There we go. Now I just wanted to talk a little bit about the containers that I've been searching for because I know that after my surgery I'm not going to be able to intake a lot of food at all so I've been trying to find um easy ways to be able to store food make food have leftovers that are within good serving portions for me so I bought a couple of items um the first one are these cute little ball mason jars so if you know me and my family you know that we um can a lot of our own stuff we have a very large garden we live out of our garden for the most of the year and my boyfriend is a um fisherman and hunter and so we live out of our freezers majority of the year as well we don't spend a lot of money on groceries um because we do that and we live that lifestyle so with that being said i wanted to find a good way to kind of um follow suit if you will so I found these these are actually baby food jars which is perfect because my tummy is gonna be like a baby um these were like 475 I think for a four pack at Walmart um love the cute little black jar if you guys know me you know I love everything that's black um so I'm really excited about these little guys and they're dishwasher safe. They have that really easy leak proof lid on them. And in addition to these, I actually bought some of the white reusable lids instead of the metal ones um, because I don't know why, but for the life of me, I can never get the lids off when they're the metal ones. I always have to have my boyfriend open them. So I grabbed some of those for just regular size mason jars when I decide to use them later on. Um, and then if I decide that I'm like, okay, I'm going to rinse this out quick, throw this in the dishwasher. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to think ahead. 
or if I'm going to use other mason jars in my house. I don't know. And then finally, I did find some of these on Amazon. I think it was like an eight pack for... You know, I'm not really sure, but I'll go ahead and put the price over here somewhere on the video. Um, but these are super awesome. These are so small. If you really look at the difference, I was looking for um, two ounce, four ounce and one ounce containers um, because I really wanted to make sure I could have good portion sizes. These are also labeled baby food, but I mean, they're dishwasher safe. They're cute. They're little. They will work. Um, last but not least, while I'm traveling. <laughs> I knew I needed some of the plastic ones with the lids on them, like you use for jello shots, um, or condiments if you're being in form. Yeah. Um, I did not look at how many I was purchasing. I was just like, oh, this is a really good price and they're the Amazon choice. And so I just hit buy now, not even thinking about it. I bought 200 and when I opened this box, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'll probably end up giving these away to somebody um, later. So on the group that I'm in, I'll probably, if you're watching this, post it up and <laughs> say, hey, who wants this? Because I know I'm not going to use nearly as many as I think I am probably. And I really was only going to use it for travel um, or like protein powder in the future or something. I don't need 200 of them. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of my pre-op food haul. Like I said, I will be posting um, what I eat in the days on pre-op for Pompeii. Um, and I will be reviewing all this stuff. I haven't shared with you guys yet, but I have created myself a binder of my pre-op food that I will be intaking saying like how much percentage of um protein was in there did I like it did I not like it so on and so forth so that when I am on my post-op diet I will kind of have things to refer back to for that and I will be have a way to kind of keep myself accountable and track what I'm eating I will also be utilizing the Berry Tastic app um which is a free app uh and i actually bought a bunch of vitamins and supplements from them that are specifically formulated for bariatric patients um and then last but not least uh i created that binder i'll let me know if you guys want a video on it i can show you i worked really 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 hard on it um but i can show you guys that and that is it there isn't any more so again thank you so much for following along on my journey i want to now take a moment to share with you guys the fact that yes i'm gonna have this youtube channel thank you for those of you who have already followed me i appreciate it so much please if you don't already go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you are notified when new videos come out um, I'm going to try to stay pretty consistent with this one, especially with everything leading up my actual surgery. I will be um, doing a pack with me for my surgery video um, and then obviously post-op and recovery and everything like that. And that's something that I was really intrigued about when I was looking into this and I want it to be a one-stop shop where you can have a lot of your questions answered, where I had to really, really search for stuff. So if you have items that you want to see questions that you might have, please comment below. That leads me to my next thing. A lot of you guys might recognize me from TikTok. <laughs> I've already been recognized um, by a lot of people actually on the group that I'm in, which is so exciting, but also really nerve wracking that I'm sharing this journey. Um, but I started a TikTok as well. So it's losing it with la 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 on TikTok as well. And then I also created an Instagram where I will be posting stories and kind of behind the scenes stuff of what I'm doing, uh, quick little tidbits and so on and so forth. So if you want to go check that out, it is at losing it with la 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 as well. Um, and yeah. So again, thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I will see you next time. Bye.